This episode of My Conversation is sponsored by Dove Barbershop, an old-time barbershop experience with a modern feel. And by United Taxes and Services. With two locations in Fresno, give them a call today. Welcome back, welcome back to My Conversation today with Feather DeWise. And our next guest, if you can, please put your hands together from United Tax Service. It's Hector Palomino. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Hector. Thank you. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. So um, I'm assuming under uh, tax service, it's that time of the year. Correct. It is the season. It is the season. It is the season. Now, first, let's go ahead and take care of the business part. United Tax Service is located where? Uh, we have one office off of Clinton and Marks and the other office on Clinton and First. Clinton, now you do what at the office? Uh, I'm a tax preparer. What I do is if you come in, you have tax questions or you have your W-2 forms, business records, and do you want me to file your taxes? I can help you with that. Or I can also help you uh, set an appointment for bookkeeping. Okay. Now, I have to ask because of, of my brief stint in the tax field, uh, what, are some of the thing, what are some of the wildest things you've seen people try to write off? Oh, wildest things I've seen people try to write off. One would be, it's not wild, but it's common, is their car. They buy a new car, it's for personal use, and they want to immediately use it to try to lower their taxes. Whereas, How does that work? Well, usually what happens is <laughs> <laughs> they hear that you can use your car to file your taxes and it reduces how much you owe, but it's only if you use it for business or if you use okay. it for traveling for work. So driving to work doesn't count for using it for business. Not, not necessarily. It depends how far uh, you Let work. me make sure I don't do that this year. That's <laughs> fine. Now, I, was, uh, I, w I worked in a tax office for a brief period, and I got to say, I asked that question because it was the craziest thing I've ever seen. It's mm -hmm. just, the, the lady wrote off her dog food. Really? Yes. She wrote off her dog food. She had a couple of properties. This is funny. Um, and she had a dog there, mm -hmm. so she said she was paying the dog to stay there to protect her property. And somehow... It worked. <laughs> I'm not suggesting you do that at home. But if you do it, you didn't hear it from me. Okay, now, um, what, are the, what are some of the common uh, problems you see with people coming in as far as, like, what should you all, what, what all should you have when they come in to mm -hmm. get their taxes prepared? So uh, one of the most common problems we have for people coming in is they believe they could file with their last check stub. They'll come in earlier, like January. And they'll say, uh, I, I have a check stub, I don't have my W-2, can I file? And, <laughs> and we're, usually what we tell them is, no, you can't file. But while it's not always true, after February 15th, you can file with the check stub, you just can't electronically file. And it has to be after February 15th. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's like, I have my check stub, I don't have my W-2, can I file? Mm -hmm. I try that at the gas station. I have my wallet, but no money. <laughs> can I get some gas, please? <laughs> That's not how that works. Now, what is the most common uh, form that you have to fill out? I know in the tax office, there's, I mm -hmm. mean, I, I went with the, the well, I'm not going to say, how you doing? Good, good <laughs> but what are some of the most common forms that you have to fill out? Uh, one of the most common forms we fill out among our clients is called earned income credit. Okay. So when you make under a certain income uh, and you have dependents or if you're over the age of 25 and be, uh, younger than 65, you can qualify potentially for earned income credit. And what this is, is the government will provide you a refundable credit, which means you get more money back right. if you meet their requirements. And a lot of our clients have that. And it's, uh, it's not necessarily complicated, but it's a lot of signatures and a lot of double checking. Wow. And that filing date is? The filing date for this year is April 18th. April 18th. Correct. So the 15th has been relieved. Mm -hmm. I remember going down to the post office once upon a time when there were post offices around <laughs> and have that line uh, super long. But now I'm assuming that electronic filing and online and stuff is the best way to go? Correct. And that's what you guys provide at? United uh, Taxes. Exactly. And remind us once again where that's located. Uh, we have an office on Clinton and Marks and Clinton and First. And address specifically? Uh, 2347 North First Street, Fresno, California. Now, being that you, uh, uh, you have that, how long have you been a tax preparer? Me, I've been a tax preparer for f five years. For five, you had to think about it. I had to think about it. I was about to say four, but this is my fifth year. This is your fifth year mm -hmm. tax. And have you always worked in an office? Have you done it independently or? No, I've always worked at the office. I went in, um, they trained me, and I've been there since. And I know a lot of people are watching, and one of the main fees they're going to wonder about United Tax Services are your prices fair? Yes. You don't have a guy standing on the corner, twirling the sign, it's personal, you come in, take care of you. Is that what? Correct. Our prices are fair, and we also do estimates. If you want to come in, just try us out. You can come in for free, tell us, here's my forms, how much would it cost me, what am I getting back, 
and we'll fill out everything for you as if you were a client. And if you happen not to be happy with what we're charging, you're free to walk. You know, that's the first time I've ever heard you can test drive a tax preparer. I've test driven trucks, cars, and <laughs> motorcycles, but I've never test driven a tax preparer. That sounds pretty good right there. And I, I, I like, I'm, I, I believe in his office already because he looks matter of fact. You seem like you're about your business. Yes. We do admittedly have uh, other preparers who are perhaps more conversational, but I'm very direct and I'll get the job done. You need to say no more. <laughs> That's what you want right there is I'm very direct. I'm going to get the job done. No frills, no thrills. Let's get, the, you know, what's your name again? My name is Hector. Say it again. Hector. Say it again. Hector. Just wanted you to know how Mike Jones feel. For the people out there that are rap fans, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate you being on the show, Hector. Don't forget that's Hector down at United Tax Service in Fresno. Two locations. Is there a website they can reach? Yeah, you can find us on our Facebook page at United Tax and Services. Love it. Love it. Thank you so much for being a guest on our show. Appreciate it, Hector. Give Hector another round of applause. You guys get your taxes done. Don't forget, this year's filing date is April 18th. Not the 15th. If you guys need your taxes done, I suggest you go down to United Tax Service right here in Fresno, California. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more conversation right here on My Simple Valley. This episode of My Conversation is sponsored by Don't Barbershop, an old-time barbershop experience with a modern feel. And by United Taxes and Services. With two locations in Fresno, give them a call today.